I don't know if you've already tried bold.new, but it's definitely worth it. Today, we're going to look at how you can create a beautiful application and deploy it to Netlify. So first, we're going to go to bold.new and we're going to be entering a prompt. In this case, I'm asking it to create a beautiful website that celebrates cats and why they're awesome. I also ask it to make it possible for people to leave comments on this website using Terso and Netlify functions. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, so as you can see, it's done deploying to Netlify and we now have a live URL that we can visit if we want. Let's try it out. And there you have it. You have a beautiful website that's deployed to Netlify. But did you know that you can also claim this website to be your own? To do that, you want to go back to Bold and click the bigger URL that you see. When you click it, you're going to redirect it to Netlify click the button, and now this project is part of your Netlify team. But you most likely also want to be able to claim the repository. So to do that, we're going to go back to Bolt. There, we're going to click the button Open in StackBlitz. And when you do that, it's going to open it in StackBlitz, and you can click the button Create a Repository. So we're going to do that. We can give the repository a name. I'm naming mine Cat Celebration. And once that's done, you now have your GitHub repository. We're going to go to your Netlify team now and click on the site that was just created. Then we'll go to site configuration, the build and deploy settings. And when we're there, we're going to link the repository. So to do this, we're connecting to GitHub and we're going to find the repository that was just created. There's mine. And you don't have to change anything here. All you have to do is click deploy cat celebration and you're good to go.